Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HMNY. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, and it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Now, I know this one's been in the news, really, really bad news. However, if you have traded for a while, then you know that these sorts of events, these sorts of you know, you know, know, news circumstances, as weird as it is, can produce some very interesting price dynamics. Now, that's not a, a guarantee it'll happen, but uh, you, you see some weird stuff happen with some of these stocks. So that's why I wanna get at least updated, especially when you know volume has returned and you know not nearly as much as it was you know back several months ago, but still above average volume is here. And the key thing here is that it's not like it was above average volume and then the price just went straight down and down and down. The price did actually at least start to go sideways. Now don't get me wrong, and I really wish I could say trading was this easy. Just because there is a news event and just because there is more volume and the price didn't keep going down and it went sideways does not mean that this is for sure some sort of bottom and the price is for sure going to bounce. But it at least makes sense that, you know what, maybe this is trying to stabilize out for a, a worthwhile tradable bounce. Again, is it guaranteed? No, but had I been sitting here and look at it like this. Let's just say that the price actually was just still, still going straight down. And then I'm sitting here saying, yeah, it's looking like this could be some sort of bottoming formation. You would be totally justified to say, what are you talking about? Why would you think this is any sort of bottom? The price is literally still dropping. But that's not the case, right? The price in this situation is indeed going sideways. So again, a guaranteed bottom, no. But is it at least logical? Is it at least a rational thought to have that it might be the bottom? Yeah, absolutely. So we'll keep an eye on it going forward. And on that note, in terms of, you know, is this the bottom? That's where the level of support comes into play. And nothing fancy or complicated behind this other than the fact of, well, if this is the bottom, then by definition, the, the price you don't wanna see the price going any lower. So 0012, very important level of support for that reason alone. Just simply, you know, if this is a bottom, well then, yeah, you wanna see it remain as the bottom. As far as levels of resistance, if there is any sort of bounce back to the upside, keep an eye on that purple line right there, the 50 period moving average. Uh, as time goes by, that line, hence its name, will move itself lower and lower. But watch that from the overall point of view. Uh, but all in all, yeah, an interesting setup going forward and uh, crazy things can happen on these penny stocks. So we'll see what happens with it. Uh, but in, you know, maybe this one will continue to bleed, which is why, again, that 0012 mark is important. But the week is young, still four days left, so let's see what happens with it. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now, and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point, and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.